Hello there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Social Me Too. And we're recording this show in November 2022. Uh, it's in the UK, uh, the Anti-Bullying Week. And we're going to be looking at online bullying, bullying in person, and as it turns out, leadership. So, um, three members of our serving political party have been found guilty of bullying staff people having to leave their employ and being afraid to go into work screaming abuse swearing at junior staff and this is going on at the top of our society so social me too i want it to be a platform where you can leave your stories because so often just getting it out of your head and down somewhere it's like having that conversation where your friend just listens that's what socialme2.org is for so today i'm joined by kalyani john lisa zara and leron i'm going to be talking about their perspectives and their views on bullying and some solutions for you and these conversation will go on for the next probably a couple of weeks, little five minute clips per day, just so you can keep on top of it. So let's go to our first guest. Hi everyone, my name is Kalyani Pradeshi. I am a former CPA and a current quantum human design specialist and an anti-bullying specialist. I wrote a book on bullying, which went on to win three international awards. So I bring anti-bullying techniques that actually work to teenagers so that we can bring an end to bullying in a way that kind of makes everyone feel satisfied and happy that's uh that, that that's quite a uh, amazing set of um pieces of information um tell me a bit about about your journey why it is you find yourself here so um I was a CPA. My son was born. I what's had two children at home. Sorry. What's a CPA? Uh, it's, a, it's a certified public accountant. Sorry. No, that's fine. Um, and what happened is that um, with both kids at home, it just didn't make financial sense for me to go back to work. Right. So I, you know, I puttered around with whatever I could do at home. And in 2018, I attended an anti-bullying workshop and I was a volunteer. It was at my daughter's elementary school. The thing that bothered me a lot throughout the whole presentation was what they were teaching was something I was taught 30 years ago. And if it didn't work, then why are we still teaching it? Mm -hmm. um, there was another thing that actually bothered me in that whole presentation was the fact that the, the presenter with well-meaning intentions was sharing the effects bullying has on its victims and every single one was a victim story. Mm -hmm. So it was meant as to discourage people from bullying. And I was sitting there thinking, well, if their kids are being bullied, they just think they have no future that they're just going to end up being a victim for the rest of their lives. And here I'd like to add is I was sent away to boarding school when I lived in South Africa. I grew up during the apartheid years. So the only way for me to get an education that was not determined by my skin color mm. was to send me away to another country. And this was a very prestigious boarding school. And I suffered severe bullying for a year and a half. So it wasn't just like I get to come home afterwards. I lived with these people. Yeah. The yeah. only time I was safe was probably when I was sleeping and everybody else was asleep. So, you know, having been through something like that and having come out of it, I felt something needed to be done differently. Mm. 